I'm going to take you through a practice today for addressing asymmetries and finding more balance in our body. We all have asymmetries. We all have the dominant side. We all have injuries, prior injuries that we're maybe are still lingering or we still have some tension from. And it's something like 80 to 90% of the population has a scoliosis in their spine. So everyone has asymmetry, but it's really helpful to find more symmetry in, in our body. So we're gonna use this meditation to help us find that. We're gonna be seated. You can do this in a chair. I'm on the floor. I like to sit in Virasana because my legs are really under me. And um, it helps us to find the natural curves of the spine. So I'm sitting on a block and I'm gonna put a blanket on top for a little more height and cushion. But know that you can sit cross-legged on the floor or another way, uh, but you really wanna to work to get shoulders over the hips and ears over the shoulders. From there, just wiggle a little bit, pull your sitting bones back and apart so that you're finding a hip crease. You want to feel a crease here. We'll let the backs of the hands rest in the lap. You can have eyes open or closed for this. And I want you to begin by bringing awareness to certain parts of your body. So your right shoulder blade, your upper right back and your left shoulder blade, upper left back. And your left chest, so in the front, your right chest, your right sitting bone, your right butt, your left sitting bone, left butt, your left hand, hip bone or hip crease in the front, your right hip in the front, and I want you to think of those parts of your body as corners, like the corners on a frame or a piece of paper. And when we have imbalances in our body, those corners or pieces of paper can get sort of folded over, distorted. And so I want you to feel right now your left sitting bone in the back and your right chest in the front and feel like you pull them apart as if they were on their own diagonal line and you were gonna pull them apart. Or I usually picture peeling corners back on a piece of paper that have gotten folded over. So left sitting bone to right chest, pull them apart. Right sitting bone to left chest, pull them apart. Notice where you get a bigger breath, where you feel like you get more space in your body, or maybe where there's more restriction. So if there is a scoliosis present, you might need to do a little more of one thing and less of another thing. But this is a way of training yourself, of being mindful so you learn where you need it in your own body. Now we'll go right shoulder blade in the back to the left hip in the front, pull those corners apart. See if that gives you more space in your neck, even your jaw. And then left shoulder blade to right hip in the front. Pull them apart. You may feel your collarbones widening or your shoulder blades moving away from your spine. You might hear adjustments of your spine, little clicks chiropractic adjustments. We're not forcing anything, but we're creating more space in the body. And so keep going on your own. Pull one corner away from another. See how it feels. Try a different way. And you'll start to le learn where you need a little more and where you could do a little less. So where does it feel good? Where does it feel spacious? That tells you that's something you need a little more of can also do all four corners at the same time. Pull them all apart. It comes right from the center. All four corners pull apart. If you're doing one more than the other, you're going to take yourself off balance. So we're really trying to create a sense of balance. You do a little more where you feel stuck, where that corner won't flatten out, where it won't peel back. But you don't do it so much that the corner actually peels back the other way. Make sure you're breathing. 
And the breath can be really helpful with this. And this is something you can take to your yoga practice. You can do this in downward facing dog. You can do it in any pose. It doesn't even have to be the torso. You could pull the left ear away from the top of the right shoulder, the right ear away from the top of the left, more space in the neck, the jaw, the throat. So play with this, try it out and see how it helps you. Good luck.